This is Brett Waltzmath of Star Watch Media here at Cafe Entourage in Hollywood, California for the pre-release party of the documentary Fools on the Hill. We're here at the pre-release party for Fools on the Hill dealing with a very interesting topic, a topic that a lot of people may not be aware of, the fact that politicians, both statewide and federal, are not required to read bills before voting on them. Your impression on the documentary as well as on the topic? Well, I haven't seen the documentary, so I can't comment on it. I think it's eminently important to expose something like that. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how many times I have accepted a movie without reading the script and been very sorry about it. And I think that uh, I'm being facetious. <laughs> Uh, I think it's it's travesty to pass a bill without reading it. I mean, you can't. Uh, that's theater of the ridiculous. I don't get it. When, and that's why I think it's so interesting the fact that so many people around the nation aren't even aware that it is an issue that that these politicians aren't required to read these bills. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous and it needs to be exposed. And the wider the audience for this film, the better off we'll be. Let's talk about you and just your career, stage actor. Theater, television, Movies. film, film. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't let me finish. Yes, film, of course. Right. What's been the key for your success in being so diverse, going from theater to television to film? What's been the key for you, being able to to jump from one medium to the other? That's a good question. Um, I think it has a lot to do with my work ethic. I don't ever take it for granted. Um, I do a lot of research and I study. I know the lines backwards and forwards before I get close to the rehearsal room or the set. And I like to go deep, as deep as I can. I'll use anything that I can as far as my technique in order to illuminate a character or a human condition. And I love doing it. And that has helped me bounce from one to the other. And speaking of your characters, you're just as well known for being able to take such a diverse amount of roles. You've been known to play just about every possible role in the business. How are you able, essentially the same question only dealing with your characters, how are you able to jump from one role to the other so fluidly? Well, I think uh, it's just a knack. I can't explain it. That sounds like a phone. It's my phone. It's, uh, Popular man. Excuse me. <laughs> just a second. No worries. Spielberg. <laughs> I'm in an interview. Stephen, I can't take the call. Tell Brad and Angelina I'll be there later, okay? <laughs> Much later. And tell them they'll be on camera here, too. <laughs> they can see them, themselves on the phone. Uh, so where were we? Uh, yeah, I think it's just an innate ability that I have to bounce from one to the other. I like to read. I'm always reading something, and that kind of broadens my horizons a little bit, and I learn a lot about lots of different types of people by doing a lot of reading. What have been your favorite characters to play? Well, I recently played one of my favorite characters. I played a man with a checkered past who's trying to redeem himself. And I find that very intriguing because it gives you lots of latitude. You know, you can, you can embrace the dark and the light with a character like that and a story in which you fit into that has that to tell. Upcoming projects for you. Well, I'm going to start doing a film for Jordan uh, next week, I believe. It's called Ginger. No, it's not called Ginger. It's called 180. I don't know the name of it. See, I've accepted a movie without having read it. Shame on me. Um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that next week. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff in the can. CSI New York will be coming out mid-January. Franklin and Bash. Uh, I think next week, and a picture in which I starred recently called Dirty People about a career criminal will be coming out this spring. So We'll do one last question. We're in the middle of the holiday season. Uh, holiday plans for you. Anything exciting? I'm thinking of going to Thailand. Now that is exciting. Yeah, I love it there. That's where I did Good Morning Vietnam. I fell in love with Bangkok, and I like going back whenever I can. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, sir, and congratulations on just a stellar career. Thanks. Much luck in the future as well.